a system that generates electricity easily and can be reproduced by anyone at home for free no fuel cost, no solar energy, wind or water. Just simple turn it on once and get free electricity. What seems obvious to many sounds like a scam, but it's intriguing actually. Millions of people around the world have access to kits and instructions. There is an incredible amount of literature, a lot of it in German, so we contacted some German developers. There must be something to it. So we started a huge research. We reached out to a university in the Netherlands where such a system was allegedly demonstrated. We tracked down kit suppliers and authors and physically analyzed some of their experiments. The magnetic motor is based, like the name says, on the attraction and repulsion forces of magnets. Magnets provide proper shielding or shifting of forces, and the correct arrangement should enable a self-sustained circular motion without the need for external energy. Depending on the design, there are different descriptions of how exactly that system should work. The most prominent approach is to arrange magnets in a V-shape and use a roller that moves in a stator. In principle, this idea is not entirely wrong, as in fact you can completely accelerate a metal roller with a magnet without any intervention. That is not a trick. Anyone can do it at home with magnets. So now, build a really long V and move the roller as long as possible. But every V has an end at some point. This is the problem that this idea tries to solve by wrapping the V around a roller or several rollers. After going through one V, the roller will be activated by the next one, and so on, until it comes back to the first one. In theory, this should create a perpetual motion. A perpetual motion that is preserved forever is the problem. Only the same energy that the system releases when passing through one V is needed again for the next V. Unfortunately, this is a zero-sum game. Such a system could indeed rotate endlessly, apart from friction losses. Seen this way, it has no use for many who believe that this is an endless motion for endless energy needs, but that is not completely wrong. It is surprising that some people really struggle with this topic, because seen this way, the term itself is perpetuum mobile from the past, is really very poorly chosen. One can actually even say that perpetuum mobile is misleading. Perpetuum mobile means, translated from Latin, as much as eternal motion, but to believe that an eternal motion releases endless energy is really not clear. When we look at Newton's first law alone, the law of inertia, a round body remains at rest when there are no external forces acting on it. And now this also applies to a body in motion, it moves with constant velocity. It will continue at a constant speed if there are no external influences on it. For example, an astronaut throws a golf ball from the ISS into space. It will keep going forever, unless it collides with planets, asteroids, or the like. It will continue to move at the same speed. The only reason why Newton's law does not seem to apply on Earth is because of losses, such as friction on the surface. But it would be a mistake to believe that the golf ball in space could provide endless energy, or that just because something moves endlessly, there is an endless amount of energy in it. On the contrary, this motion has a small amount of energy, and that is exactly what many people do not understand. We cannot gain energy from or with motion. Motion is not a form of energy. A spinning top on a table without friction losses would be nothing more than a perfect battery system, but certainly not an endless energy generator. There are even so-called flywheel storages, which can be used for network stability and store excess electricity in the form of motion. But what if we had a generator that did not lose energy? Well, then, we would have a perpetual motion machine of the first kind. Generator simply converts the kinetic energy that it receives into electrical energy that can be used at a one-to-one -one ratio. If we ignore the losses, a generator produces electrical energy by, simply put, slowing down the motion so that a motor stops running without a constant energy supply. So the motor has to produce more and more kinetic energy that the generator has to counteract with more and more electrical energy. In short, the magnetic motor should always accelerate and keep accelerating, and that without external energy supply. 
And this is precisely the point where every physics expert must immediately pull the plug. That is a statement that completely contradicts the law of conservation of energy. And no, the law of conservation of energy is not a theory that can be broken by some clever engineering feat. The law of conservation of energy holds, and it is the basis for our entire electrophysics. But this one magnetic motor was supposedly from a so-called Yildiz University in the Netherlands and was demonstrated there crazy. He even claimed to be under the critical eyes of the professors and scientific staff. They had to dismantle this one, by the way. The name appears in relation to the magnetic motor next to Luling & Co. always again. To get to the bottom of the question, if there's really something to it, I just called Delft University and asked the lady for information. The reception of the Dutch University was on the other end of the line visibly overwhelmed by this strange request. She forwarded me to a press office that dealt with this topic in detail. Surely that was one of the strangest requests of recent times. The employee responsible for us had to ask some employees at the university if they can somehow still remember the demonstration. And if the video is real, the demonstration really took place at the university, but they distanced themselves from the incident and emphasized that the employee who invited the gentleman Yildiz was no longer at the university and the work of the university had nothing to do with magnetic motors. It is now finally proven that the magnetic motor works. You can see this very clearly and his work is obvious in the video he performs and everyone applauds. Let's take a look at the audio profile of the video at the University about the magnetic motor. We see a behavior of the magnetic motor that is unusual for a real one. The magnetic motor should be spinning faster and faster as it turns on the sound of the motor should increase with the speed. This is very noticeable, so we should, since we have recognized that the magnetic motor is constantly accelerating. Notice a constant increase in pitch at least when there is no generator connected to the motor that would somehow counteract the acceleration. But we don't hear that here at this point. We have a short increase in frequency at the beginning. Then the sound stays more or less the same and no, this propeller is absolutely not enough to in any way counteract the acceleration. The thing would have to run without a load at the described wattage through the ceiling. So we're sure that this is just a battery-operated electric motor, the rest around it, we would dismiss as a show that would also explain why he shows the motor only briefly and never for two hours at a time. The battery would discharge over time. The load would also reduce the speed. And at the latest after a few hours, the motor would slow down. And then even the last one would realize that something is wrong if we were right. How do you then explain that the machine was opened in front of the critical eyes of the audience and no battery was found well? This question was asked to me more often because of our last video about the magnetic motor. The point is that, at the University of Delft, the system was not completely taken apart, only one component was removed. Admittedly, quite a large component was left out because they were supposed to be in a patent dispute. Despite having many patents registered for this, none of them ever followed up on it, right after a successful demonstration. The man who opened the machine has been watching this show for more than 30 years. He supposedly developed it more than 34 such engines which all work somehow but would not be fully opened only one system. And in series, it also never worked more surprising than me personally. I would buy such a system immediately if it worked. And not just me. You out there, everyone would especially want to buy such a system that would be interesting for the military for electricity generation, for the transportation, for every area, but a public company was never founded, not even a website, which would finally show the release is obviously in the past. A web store or something similar, there still isn't one. You can't buy a Yildiz magnetic motor anywhere. It is always claimed that the invention is being covered up so that the big corporations can make money. The magnetic motor inventors have to stay hidden because otherwise, they would be persecuted, they would go over dead bodies. Well, isn't it strange that the man on the brightest day openly shows his system at trade fairs and even at universities, and he has been doing that for over 30 years, and not only that, if there is an agenda against him and the magnetic motor, 
Who can explain to me how it is possible that the authors of magnetic motor manuals can publish their books and co through publishers and send them via Amazon and even through bookstores like Vitalia? Not only as e-books, but also as printed versions finished engines are not available from reputable websites. To buy to emphasize this explicitly again, for us, the whole topic about the magnetic motor shows how left behind large parts of the population are by science. An enormous number of people believe that you can build machines that break physics. YouTube videos like this here, in which a very technically gifted person gradually builds new supposed miracle machines, go completely viral. And the most common comments are, is this really possible? Where can I buy this? How do I recreate it? While some have fun with it and discover a hidden cable or battery system, others really believe that something like that can work, that this is impossible, and someone knows that group particularly well. They want to sell you this. It's not uncommon for people to be stupid and dazzle figures are created for this purpose from science and history. Simply, this is how a name is used again and again references to free energy and the like appear Tesla. There are an incredible number of myths around him. So he should have developed a turbine that achieved efficiency of almost 100%. We analyzed the system very carefully. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you next time.